Now, barely months after South Africa has present managed to form a coalition, the first signs of tension and rift in the unity government are beginning to show. Cyril Ramaphosa has officially signed the divisive Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill into law. This despite key ally, the Democratic Alliance, opposing certain provisions of the bill. So much so that the party leaders of DA threatened to pull back from the government of national unity if the president signed the bill into law. In an address, Ramaphosa said that the bill will only be fully implemented after three months in order to give time for further consultations. However, the South African president also said he is determined to implement the bill if no proper solution is found to the stalemate within three months. In the last few days, in fact, in the very last few hours, in the last few minutes, parties to the government of national unity, as well as parties outside the government of national unity, have expressed their wishes to further engage each other on some of the sections of the bill that deal with the issues particularly of access, admission, and language. Following the developments, the Democratic Alliance Party has now instructed its lawyers to prepare for court action on both the process leading to the adoption of the bill as well as its substance on constitutional grounds. The party believes Ramaphosa's approach is contrary to the spirit of the coalition that emphasizes sufficient consensus on divisive issues. The ANC party allies say the school reserves the right to determine their language policies, emphasizing the right of Africans to opt for an education in their mother tongue. The backlash on the new legislation has triggered a debate around racial integration among parties and people of South Africa. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.